Hey, joining us right now, we've got uh, Assistant Professor of Engineering at Fordham, Stephen Holler. Professor uh, Holler, thank you for joining us, first of all. We appreciate it. Um, what insight can you give us that you've been watching that, that we haven't shared with people that they might not know about what happened? Um, uh, honestly, I didn't feel it. Um, you were just talking about driving. I've I'm actually been driving into campus, and I didn't feel it at all, but everything has been blowing up. Uh, this was um, there was a 4.8. It was nearby. Um, it's it's not it's not that strong of an earthquake. I mean, it's pretty strong, uh, especially for this area. Um, but compared to the one that we just saw in Taiwan, uh, it's it's a thousand, a thousand times less powerful you know, than that. Um, no, I was going to say, you know, one of the things is we've seen them, you know, the U.S. Geological Survey, who measures the earthquakes for us, go from 4.8 down to 4.7, back up to 4.8. They say this is a significant earthquake, but not a severe earthquake. But can you explain to us the difference between a 4.7 and 4.8? Because every tenth of a degree matters, right, as far as measurements? Sure. Oh, sure, sure, they, they do. The, uh, the scale is... Um it's logarithmic, so that every every single one that you go up is a factor of ten uh, in power. And so, and then you know, and because of the way the scale goes, a, fi uh, um, a, a difference of point three is a factor of two. So those those point numbers actually mean something. So the difference between you know a four point eight and a four point five is actually a factor of two, even though it doesn't seem that way. And so even the little changes mean something. So, but this was this was a sizable earthquake, um, but it's not uh, it's not something that I would be super concerned about. Okay, so um, just so you know, the the, the governor is going to have a press conference at 11:30. We'll bring it to you right away, Professor. I was wondering. I mean, we have a, a big eclipse happening on Monday. Is there any tie-in to this? No. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's, uh, we. We tend to see things that way, right? That that uh, that um, some of these events happen, you know, close together, and we make connections that just aren't there. Uh, no, it's not. Um, the eclipse isn't isn't in any way related to this earthquake. All right, are you still going to work? I am. I am still going to work. I, I can assure you, I just came off the George Washington Bridge. It is still standing, um, and it is uh, it is functioning well. Right. And they're, uh, they're letting you they're letting you go over the bridge, right? Because we're hearing that they are looking at certain bridges to make sure that they're safe for transportation. Nope, the George Washington appears to be safe. I just crossed it, and um, everything everything looks normal. I mean, including the amount of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in, in the words of the British, stay calm and carry on, right? <laughs>